Ryan Madden here from cfcsports.com. It's another busy week for College of Charleston Athletics with numerous teams in action, including cross country, which heads north to Boston for the Cod Fishbowl meets. It's the third meet of the season for the College of Charleston cross country teams, and we got a chance to catch up with head coach Amy Sego to get her thoughts on this weekend. Well, coming off of the Furman meet, we learned a few things about ourselves. Um, Crew, Kasorik, and Colton Hennessy on the men's side, real deal. Uh, freshmen really stepped up for us, I think did a, a good job in their first 8K. Obviously, as they continue to race throughout the season with the 8K, they will get more used to that distance, but I was pretty pleased with their initial efforts. Um, Nick Putnam did a really good job for us. Mackenzie, although his time wasn't as fast as last year, I think got in there and really competed and, um, and had a nice solid effort. and. I think we're in a good spot. We learned a lot in terms of race strategy and how we would like to approach things in the future with the guys, so good job there. The women, uh, we did a better job than last year in terms of overall place. Our depth is much improved. We found um, Cora Koska has has certainly improved and, and moved forward for us, so we'll be looking for her help in the future as well. But Trish was solid as always, and did a great job for us, so very pleased. So our opportunity to go up to Boston, see the course that the conference championship will be hosted on, and I think that's important. I think it's important for for um, you know that that crew that has a shot of making the conference team that they see this ahead of time. They get used to the travel, get used to just you know being in a different city like Boston. And the weather is certainly a factor for us. It will be a little different in November than what it is right now. Uh, but I think we'll enjoy the break in the heat and the break in the temperature will be good for us. I think Trish Ryan and Cora Koska, and they've been very solid for us in workouts. So I'm expecting good things from them, just from a racing component to, to put it together in another 5K race. Uh, and then with, with the other pack, we have Mary-Kate Brailsford, and um, Kara Butcher have really done a nice job as of late, and I think they can help lead that next crew through. Um, we have freshman Savannah Pugh who will be making the, the journey as well, which I think is good for her to get her feet wet from the experience standpoint um, with the, the top group. And on the, on the men's side, uh, Mackenzie Johnston, Adam Sefton are always guys that we can count on. I think Adam's hungry coming off of that Furman race and wants a better race, and I think he'll do well. Um, Crew Kasorik, Colton Hennessy, they've done a great job in you know, the past couple weeks of workouts. Josh Tierney is somebody to look for. Nick Putnam has been a very solid performer. So guys are definitely motivated, and this will be a good opportunity for us to see that 8K course, which is the full distance for the guys for the conference meet.